I'm going to McDonald's over. Hey guys and welcome to it. Today's vlog is so freaking fun and exciting. I'm so, so excited. We are going on a book reading vacation and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to try to do no spoilers so anybody can watch this vlog. And if we do end up talking about the book by the end of it, I will put like a 10 second spoiler warning so you know to click off the video if we end up doing that. Anyways, uh, it's the day before the trip so I'm packing, getting things ready and I just got a very exciting package in the mail. Oh, it's, uh, I thought we'd open it together. But basically, this video we are reading the third book of the Crescent City series by Sarah J Mass. It just came out today. I actually just went to Walmart to try and find it and they didn't have it so bummer dude but that's fine. It's fine. I got on my Kindle. <laughs> anyway so we're reading that and it's going to be amazing. I have my three friends. It's my best friend Kylie, my best friend Macy, and my sister Emily who we all have been reading all the Sarah J Mass books mostly together at least. Honestly Emily and Macy read it like years ago and Kylie and I just read it because of them so. Anyways we all thought it'd be so fun to go rent a Kevin and read the third book that's coming out because they've been waiting like two years for this. I just finished the book last week, so I didn't have to wait that long. So I am so excited. It's going to be amazing. We just got a package, so let's open it. So I was on Amazon last night trying to order tote bags because we're gonna bring my cricket, oh my gosh, and make tote bags themed about the books. And I saw this and I just had to buy it. It was like $35, but I had to do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys know Cards Against Humanity? It's basically that, but Akatar themed Cards Against Prithian. And this book is Crescent City, but if you know, you know. So we're gonna bring this and we're going to play it. They have no idea and they're gonna be so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then the tote bags so that we can DIY these. But I kinda wanna open up this card game and see what it's like. Just to show you guys an example. And because I want to show my friend Hannah. If you guys know Hannah Maddie, she's a YouTuber, she's one of my friends. So maybe you know her. We have been reading all of these books to, kind of together. She finished Akatar, and now she's on Throne of Glass, and she's texting me about it right now. But anyways, I need to send her a picture of this because she is going to be shocked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my word. These are awesome. <gasps> So that's what the box looks like. We have the cards that you like answer with and then all the answers. So these are so funny. Picturing the mini card worm as the Alaskan Bulmer from SpongeBob. That's hilarious. I am so excited to play this. Oh my gosh, I'll film us playing. I actually don't know how I'm gonna keep the secret of having this game for the next 24 hours from them because I am so excited. I just texted my sister-in-law too. She's read all these books too, so she is going to wanna play that as soon as possible. But yeah, today I am just prepping to go. I have been kind of setting out the things that we need to bring. So I have some sprinkles. We are doing themed drinks again. We did this for our Iron Flame book club party. And I think my drink is going to be Jelly Jubilee Jello Shots. It's kind of an inside joke from the book series, so we're doing like a character each. I went and got the supplies today. Jello. I got some unicorn sprinkles to put in it. And I'm gonna do sparkles and then Jello Shot Cups. So I am so excited. All right, I just packed. I filmed a little TikTok of me packing, so you guys can follow me over there if you want to see that. But yeah, now we just gotta get ready for tomorrow. Get hyped up. I mean, I feel like I'm already pretty hyped up. Um, <laughs> glued on some nails. They literally were called fairy dust, so had to. And yeah, the vibes are great. I'm excited, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow when we're ready to do all this. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day. I'm currently getting all packed up and ready to go. I have my little starborn earrings on. This little moon necklace. It's giving Crescent City. Feeling very on theme today. So excited. I have the suitcase that we packed yesterday and then my camera bag because we are taking content there for the place that we're staying at. So I have that all packed. My purse with my Kindle and like my wallet and everyday stuff. And then this bag has my laptop, iPad, and then all my Cricut stuff because we're going to try and Cricut things. I'm bringing this photo frame because I had my sister print out really cute print and I just thought it'd be fun to have in the background for some of our photos so bringing that but now I really need to go out to my office and actually get my Cricut and all the supplies and load up the car I've been procrastinating this all morning so I need to go do that
Okay, I just made the hour drive to Muncie, which is where I'm picking up Kylie because that's where she lives. But I'm running a few errands and doing a few things before we head off on our journey. So first up, we're at Books A Million, hoping that maybe I can find a copy of the book here because I couldn't find one at Walmart yesterday. So, wish me good luck. We made it! Oh. Did you bring a coffee table or did you buy a coffee table? <laughs> I bought a coffee table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why did you bring for the aesthetic? <laughs> I, that's like, something I would do. Like, this would be perfect for the book day. <laughs> yes, like, Maybe we'll have to use it. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Five days. All right, guys, I want to do a quick little haul of what I got at the bookstore that came with my book because I accidentally agreed to the loyalty program and got a free bag, and it was a $25 loyalty program. So we're going to do a haul. I don't know how to say no. Uh, unfortunately, not the special edition because they ran out. But <laughs> so we got the special, so we got the loyalty program with our <laughs> and a magazine, lovely, and four bookmarks. And guess how many of us are there? How many? Four of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they're really pretty. They're like holographic, and they have a little quote on the back. They look shiny. And I think my favorite part: tattoo. The magnets for the fridge here, and that's it. <laughs> okay, I have to show you now because I can't keep the secret any longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys know the game Cards Against Humanity? <gasps> wow! Cards Against Humanity! So it's like the avatar, avatar theme. No! Oh, okay. So there's like these. That would be so fun! Yeah. <laughs> Butchering dozens of butcher for children. <laughs> Okay guys, obviously we made it to the Airbnb and we're having the best time. This place is so cute. I will link the Airbnb listing down below. And we just had dinner, we had Jack's Pizza, a lovely meal. We just made bingo boards of our theories and predictions. So we're gonna cross off and see who can get a bingo. We're finally a little settled in, we have our bags kind of unpacked, food all put away, and we are officially ready. So I think we're gonna start with playing the card game for a little while, while we're still in like our bliss of not knowing what crazy things happen in this book. And then we'll start the book later tonight. Okay. And Cameron's probably in prison for making a deal with Brexit. <laughs> Adding a chapter to the book about the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie? You guys pronounce everything wrong. What do you say? Pronounce it the way in my brain. What do you Valkyrie. Say? That's what I said. That's what you said. She said it wrong. I said Valkyrie. No, that's no. not. No. no. Lucian's dead girlfriend just smitten die. <laughs> It is 8.38 p.m. and we are finally starting. We had so much fun playing that game. I would highly recommend it. I will, again, link it below. It's literally from Amazon. <laughs> Highly recommend it to anyone who loves the Akatar series. It's amazing. But we are about to start the book and I'm so excited. We just sat and like decoded or tried to decode the front page and figure out who it is on the book. Still haven't quite figured it out, but I'm sure we will. Um, we tossed out our theories, we made our bingo boards and all that and we we're finally ready to begin. So we're gonna record our reaction to the first like chapter slash prologue and let you guys watch that. I'm so All scared. Right. I'm gonna get through the first page and everyone's gonna be like, hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the prologue. <laughs> prologue, then talk, and then we can start. Okay? Wait, okay, one second. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Why is she upside down? Just misprinted? <laughs> or do you get this at the back of the book? You have a no, that's, that's <gasps> it. You got a misprint. <gasps> Look at you. It's Barnes and Noble trying to tell us something. Oh? Is your whole book upside down?
Guess which one? <laughs> I dare you. I'm sorry, being really ripped off. Yeah. Oh! I know. So I know, that was sad. The only thing that I'm hoping is that he's still alive in that I know. Like well, we finished the prologue and everyone's hearts are broken. So hopefully, they'll get put back together. That feeling like I don't oh, want to do it again. Oh yeah. Like, I remember that was specifically the first saying, chapters. Like, yeah. this like, do you guys think that they're gonna. Day two of our little reading vacation and we've been reading all morning. We are about to go out for brunch though, so let's do it. Okay, we got coffee. We went to this really cute place. We got little sandwiches. <laughs> 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 so it was really good. We went into town. It's like a 30 minute drive from the cabin though, so it's probably the only time we're gonna be going back into town. Oh, I guess maybe tomorrow once. We have to check out here at 10 a.m. So we might end up going to another different coffee shop to read if we don't finish the books today. It really depends. But so far we're loving the book. We're about like 28% through I think and it's really picking up and we're getting so excited to read. My sister Emily had to leave today. She actually goes to school at IU Bloomington and she had an exam in class today so she drove back. It's only like 40 minutes for her. So she drove back. Right now she's taking her exam and then she's going to come back now after her exam. So hopefully it goes well for her. We'll see. But yeah, right now we are getting ready to take some photos and videos for the Airbnb host. It'll be so fun and then we're either going to read or cricket some projects. It really depends because we really want to read but we also want cute shirts to wear so it's hard to decide what to do. This is so much fun. We're already so happy we did this. We're having the best time and let's take some photos and videos. <laughs> Depths of silence where echoes remain. You were the sunrise, and I was the rain. A collision of souls, opposing and fly. Okay, guys, we are crafting it up. I'm so excited. I'm about to finish my shirt. We got out my Cricut since I brought everything, and we've all been custom designing our own little shirts. I'll have to show you guys everyone's after the end, but mine is Crescent City themed, and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. So we need to finish this up, and then you put it on. Darkness, you yearn for the light. Here's how my shirt turned out. Isn't it so cute? And I saw my little necklace on. It's just perfect vibes going on. We are finishing up our shirts and we're starting drinks. So we were trying to do themed drinks for random characters throughout mostly all of Sarah J. Moss's books. So I'm always going first and she'll explain her drink once I ask her. So it's gonna be great. We're starting early so that we don't slam all these drinks and then try to read a book. So we can pace ourselves a little bit. But yeah, we're finishing up the craft. Still my hot tub later tonight. I just love the cozy oh. cabin. <laughs> Alright guys, Emily has her drink ready. What did you make us? So, this drink was inspired by Therian, also the summer court, the summer court from um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And so we have lemonade, and then we're supposed to have blue curacao, but unfortunately we had used blue sprinkles. <laughs> And then I ha bought this cute little like ice tray off of so, Amazon. Little so. well, mermaid tails. But by the time we put them in that ice, because they're pretty shallow, they kind of melted. But it's still pretty cute. And they get a little bit of lime for like a little summery vibe. Cute! So excited to try it. <gasps> oh my gosh, go show them. Go. <laughs> Blackberries, then ice and a little bit of lemonade, and then tequila top it off. So you'll have to mix it before you drink it. <laughs> okay, oh my god, let's see what it's called. Jelly Jubilee has 
wings. No, unicorns don't have wings. Listen, they don't have pegasus and sprinkles. <laughs> well, Julia, I think you nailed it. My trick of- I think it's silky. So Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's perfect, perfect. And take two. My trick of the night is a Jelly Jubilee Jello shot. If you guys have read the books, you know. So, that's, that's all I got. That's all I have to say about my drink. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's oh, strong and sprinkly. Oh, my God. All right, Macy is the last drink of the night. Explain what you have for us. Hello, I had Aelin Ashriver yes. <laughs> as uh, my character for the night. Uh, the Firebringer, Fireheart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is this why they didn't let him? I am not fire <laughs> 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 That has like ah! Ah, there you go. <laughs> So despite what this might look like, tis not for a birthday. <laughs> tis not for a birthday. <laughs> not this is not for <laughs> Fireheart. Why do I I'm here to take a bullet. Love the cozy arms, Kevin. By. Yay! Yay! Hot tubbing! <laughs> okay, it's the last morning here, and last night we also have till 3 in the morning reading. We have about four and a half hours left in the book total, I think. So, we are going to try and go to a coffee shop or something somewhere to finish reading the book together and hope that we can finish it, but we'll see. Far, it's so good, we love it. Also, we have just been loving it being in this cabin together. It's so much fun. I don't know how we're not gonna do this for every book that ever comes out ever now because this is so much fun. We have our bingo board. I'm not winning. I have three crossed off. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a few more photos here. We are currently cleaning up and like putting all the Airbnb stuff away, you know, loading the dishwasher, getting our towels all put together and stuff. But yeah, and last night we used a hot tub and it was so fun. We <laughs> wanted to keep reading. So what we did was one of us just, I, I brought my Kindle out and I just read it out loud so that we could still progress in the book while being in the hot tub, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm sad that we had to leave because I got to see my sister who, honestly, I don't get to see Macy, Kylie, or Emily often now that I live far away. Macy lives in Nashville, so she has a bit of a drive. Emily's down at college, which is almost three hours away from our hometown, and then Kylie is about an hour away, so. I'll be sad to leave, but this has just been so amazing. The trip's not over yet, so let's finish this book. Dance the flow As you and your wild heart sister Running further down the road let the bullies beg for forgiveness Keep the punks under the thumb. Okay, we just parked in downtown Brown County. So cute. We're hoping to go to a little cafe and finish reading. We'll see how it goes though. It's literally so cute. Lucifer, Lucifer, hold on. Little Lucifer. Alright, we are currently at a McDonald's reading. The last of this book, we're about 75% done, I think. Um, so we're just trying to finish it. It's down to me, Kylie, and Emily. Macy had to leave to start her drive because she has like a four and a half hour drive. So unfortunately, she does not get to finish the book with us at the same time, but I'm sure she will in the next few days and we'll all talk about it. So I'm excited. We have our bingo board, so I don't know. It's not really looking promising for me to get a bingo, but we will see. <laughs> Crying in a McDonald's over a book. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> We've got four percent left, guys. Wow, we finished it. Yay! Yay! Now we have to head home. Okay, I just dropped off Kylie, and it's so sad that this trip is coming to an end. Um, so it was like two hours drive back so to drop her off, and now I am picking up food here in Muncie because they have a raising canes, and we don't have that over back where I live now. So I'm bringing that home for Keegan and I'm so excited. But this was just so much fun. There are a bunch of bonus chapters that go along with these books. And so Kylie sat there and read them out loud for me while we were both driving, while I was driving so that we could like get through those and, and read those together. So that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was such a good book series, so good. Not sure 
if it's the end or not isn't really confirmed, so we'll see. I don't know. But this was so much fun. I highly recommend renting out a cabin with your friends if you guys have like a little book club or you read the same books. Especially when there's like a new release like this, it makes it so much more fun and exciting because we were doing everything themed and it was just the best. So my gas is done. I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.